Hi YouTube friends, Michelle from Silver Lining Daydreams and in today's video I'm going to bring you along and show you how I was able to transform this old worn out porch into a fresh, clean and welcoming area for our friends and family. We did have a few issues along the way and I'll be sharing those as well. This is the angle grinder that I used and this is the diamond wheel that's on there. It's not a large tool. Um, it's the first time that I had ever used it. It was a little bit intimidating, um, but it's not, it's not bad once you get used to it. It's kind of like a, um, a high powered palm sander, I guess, for lack of better terms. And then the other things that I used were safety goggles. And then this was really, really important. Um, this is a respirator mask. And when you're grinding concrete, you don't want to be inhaling all of that. It's a carcinogenic, and um, it's just, it's really, really hard on your body. So I was able to use this, and um, it's been such a blessing to have this. We use this when, you know, doing this project. We've used it when we're painting. So um, if you're on the fence about getting one, you should get one. The other item that we used was a shop vac. The only thing that I wish we would have purchased, um, but I tried to save a little bit of money, and I wish I would have purchased a, there's a dust shroud for the angle grinder. Um, and you'll see in the video on why. I wish I would have. You can get them for like $30, $40, and it would have really made a huge difference. After vacuuming, the first step was to remove the old carpet. I was really surprised at how quickly and easily it came out. I always wondered how it would look under the carpet and I was happy to find only disintegrating glue and no large carpet patches, which was really nice. I didn't want to deal with chemicals that don't always work, so I decided to use our angle grinder and bought a diamond grinding cup to take off the top layer of the concrete. This removed all the glue residue, plus I wouldn't have to etch the concrete with muriatic acid in order for the paint to adhere to. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I tried to save some money and use a shop vac to help with the dust instead of buying a dust shroud for the angle grinder. I knew that it was going to make a mess and I thought that if I used the shop vac near the grinder it would help, but it didn't. In hindsight, I would have bought the dust shroud. I was really surprised at how easy it was to use this angle grinder. You have to pay attention to what you're doing and truth be told I was a little afraid that there would be some kind of a, a kickback with it but it was easy, just pay attention, keep it level so you don't dig into the concrete too much. this part of the project didn't take very long, about 45 minutes total including all of the vacuuming in between the grinding times. I know I should have used the grinder on this little walkway but I forgot because I started to get distracted thinking about how I was going to clean everything up on the porch. After using a broom on the walls, brick and concrete, I used our blower for about 30 or 40 minutes getting it as clean as possible before I scrubbed and washed the concrete with warm water and mild soap. I've heard mixed reviews on using a pressure washer on concrete before painting and I had a small window to get this done that I didn't have time to wait several days for it to dry thoroughly. The other issue we have in this area is water tends to pool by the retaining wall with nowhere for it to go. We thought we had the color set on this Rust-Oleum sand color, but when I painted the sample piece, it was way too peachy. Then we bought this Rust-Oleum Battleship Gray, but it looked light blue in the sunlight. After much discussion, we thought that we would try the bare slate gray that was a little darker, hoping that we would have a nice contrast. We had such a hard time finding a color that would blend with the red brick on the house, the tan pavers, taupe retaining wall, and the blacktop driveway. 
plus how the color changes in the sun. The bare slate gray looked blue as well, especially next to the retaining wall. After three paint color fails, it was back to Home Depot to look at the bare custom color paint. But this time I was a little bit wiser and had them make samples for us. We finally settled on our seventh color choice, Bare Pebble Path. started painting the pebble path I was so happy and thought that we had finally found the right color but as I started painting toward the walkway in the Sun the color seemed to take on a mauve hue I finished it let it dry and asked Brad what he thought he said he really likes it it's not exactly what I was hoping for but that's okay I think it still looks really good and that old ratty carpet is gone looking for an easy budget-friendly fix until we can decide if we want to rework the retaining wall and put in a little seating area. And painting the front porch really fits the bill for us. I'm so happy to have this finally checked off of our to-do list. Um, is it exactly what I wanted? No. Am I happy with it? Yes. Um, well, at least until we're able to get a little sitting area put in here. Thanks so much for coming along with me as I update this front porch. And if you haven't done so already, please consider to like, share, and subscribe. It does help our channel and it also helps other people to find us. Thanks again. Bye-bye.